Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't of all ages, a freshly shaven Hollywood show for the first time in like a week. About to give you the daily vlog for Wednesday, December the 2nd. As you guys know, I don't have my PlayStation 5 yet. However, I have checked the orders multiple times. It is saying Thursday, December 3rd. However, it is not shipped. So it makes me wonder if local Walmarts are getting these orders and having them delivered, or if they're just dry on PlayStation 5s and I expect a delay of up to a week and I'm gonna have to complain on the Walmart site for not getting on time and try to get that $50 credit or whatever they're offering. Now with that said, last night I ended up doing that stupid gamble a radiation event. I thought last month's side event in Marvel Cats as a champion was one of the worst side events ever. There's been a couple stinkers. That one was just really bad and boring. Like, I just can't see hard grindy content where you have to collect materials and do 10 fights, each of which take about 10 minutes for basically minimal rewards. I get that you're supposed to do that every single day, but I don't like doing the side events in a single day, especially when they're not fun. I had to do 28 events within two days, all to get the remaining rewards, and so I could rank five my five-star Nick Fury. So my five-star Nick Fury is the very first five-star I've ranked up to five, even though I've ranked up two six-stars to rank two prior to that. So I could have had at least three five-stars at rank five level 65, and possibly even four, because it only takes two tier five basic to rank up a five-star to rank five. It takes three to rank up a six-star to rank two, and it takes more tier four and five basic, and only tier two alpha, not tier one alpha. A little bit of a difference, a little bit more annoying to rank up six stars to rank two than it is to rank up five stars to rank five. Now, for those of you guys that also saw my opening yesterday, I ended up getting a five-star Wolverine, and I ranked him up to rank four, and I awakened him. But I just feel that Nick Fury is probably a little bit more value than Wolverine, even though I love me some Wolverine. You could also use it with Apocalypse. Sadly, I don't have a five or six star Apocalypse, so it's a little bit harder to rank up the four star in Uncollected and Cavalier stuff. So it might be a little bit harder to use. Either way, I'm still super happy I got Wolverine. I'm probably gonna bring him into Quest next week, which I believe starts tomorrow. I did an opening on Genshin Impact. I know a lot of people probably don't care about that game anymore on my channel and want me to go do something else. Trust me, I'm waiting for my PS5. As soon as I get my PS5, there's gonna be some Demon Souls game play videos is going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm probably going to fire up Destiny 2 and Marvel's Avengers during the day. I might even fire up 2K Battlegrounds with Curtis. I plan on doing stuff during the day and I know that these daily vlogs take a lot of time. They're probably a pain in the ass. It'd probably be wiser for me to just stream these daily vlogs. But the reason I do the editing, you guys don't notice this because I do the editing, but every time I stop and take a breath, you guys hear me gasp for air like that. Do you guys really think that has a place on a daily vlog? And I know a lot of you guys probably don't care. You'd rather have it unedited. If I get five comments down below, because I know a lot of people don't watch my daily vlogs, I get about 40 to 60 views a day, then I will not edit out the breathing, even though I'm sure that's super annoying to you guys. Nobody wants to hear that shit. I know I don't. That's why I edit it out. I also edit out butts and so's that don't make a lot of sense. So there's a lot of edits. If there's like a pause for five seconds, you don't hear it because I edit it out so you don't have to deal with it. But I'm probably going to start streaming when Destiny 2 comes on tonight. I'm probably going to play a little Genshin Impact as well, whether it's on camera or off camera. It is another cold day outside, so once again, I am not recording a daily vlog outside. I think as long as it's under 50 degrees and I'm not over somebody's house, I am not recording a daily vlog outside. So there might be a little bit of reduced lighting quality because I don't know how to photo edit or video edit to increase the color saturation. I am really looking forward to getting this PlayStation 5. I'm also looking forward to sparring with Vince very soon as he only has a couple more downloads left to do. So I imagine if I don't get my PlayStation 5 by tomorrow, Vince and I are going to do a little bit of sparring. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the daily vlog. I'd like to thank Nathan for his 35 month resub on Twitch. You are definitely the longest sub on Twitch. I don't know if you beat Evil Mura or if you're tied with him, but I appreciate your support, and I hope one day you do get a PS5 so we can kick some ass. Who knows, we might have to break out Call of Duty Mobile with you, 97P Howard, and Savage Wolf, just like old times. Now we also have Jeremy Cunning's playing as well. We also have Hitman, so who knows? Maybe we'll have to do a Call of Duty Mobile Night. I also want to do some more Nintendo Switch in the very near future as well, as I do have High Rewards Age of Calamity. So let me know what you'd actually like to see. Obviously, I don't have my PlayStation 5 yet, so I have zero interest in playing whatever PlayStation 4 games I have. 
until I get the PS5. Now, thank you for watching this daily vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily vlog. And I really hope one of the daily vlog topics is I get a PlayStation 5. And you'll know I get a PlayStation 5 because the daily vlog will be less than a minute. See you tomorrow.